Hello guys, this is Sir EJ and welcome again for another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing how to transform quadratic functions from general form to vertex form. the following objectives we need to attain for today's topic. Letter A, transform the quadratic function in general form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c into standard form. y is equal to a times the quantity x minus h to the second power plus k and vice versa. And letter B, value accumulated knowledge as means of new understanding. Let's have our first example. Express y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 10 in the form y is equal to a times the quantity x minus h raised to the second power plus k or vertex form and give the values of h and k. So the first thing we need to do is to copy this equation. So we have y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 10. And then after that, we will perform completing the square. So we will group the terms with the variable x. So we have y is equal to the quantity of x squared minus 2x. Then we will leave a space here or a blank and then followed by minus 10. And then after that, we will get the numerical coefficient of our linear term. So the numerical coefficient of our linear term is equal to negative 2. And then we will divide it by 2. So negative 2 divided by 2 will be equal to negative 1. Then we will square the answer, meaning to say we will multiply the answer by itself. So negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to positive 1. So we will put positive 1 here. So just copy the equation y is equal to quantity x squared minus 2x. Then add natin yung nakuha nating answer, which is plus 1. Then copy minus 10. Then if we have add plus 1 here, we will put minus 1 here. Para pag pinag-add natin yung dalawang dinagdag nating number, yung positive 1 and negative 1, will be just cancelled out or will be just equal to 0. Alright? So, kung nagdagdag ka ng plus 1, magdadagdag ka dito sa kabila ng minus 1. Pag magdadagdag ka ng plus 5 dito, ang idadagdag mo sa kabila ay minus 5. And then, after that, we will factor this equation x squared minus 2x plus 1 so the factor of this equation is quantity x minus 1 to the second power so we will just get the square root of x squared which is equal to x and then the square root of positive 1 which is equal to 1 and then we will get the sign of the linear term which is negative so we have the quantity x minus 1 to the second power and then negative 10 minus 1 will be equal to negative 11. So this will be the vertex form. And the value of h will be equal to positive 1. So we have x minus h. So if this is negative 1, to get the value of h, we will just change the sign. So if this is negative 1, the value of h will be equal to positive 1. And the value of k will just be equal to this number. So k will be equal to negative 11. So our vertex will be at point 1, negative 11. Another method to solve for the vertex of the parabola or quadratic equation is to use a formula. So first step we need to do is to identify the numerical coefficient of our quadratic term, so x squared, the numerical coefficient of x squared is equal to 1. The numerical coefficient of our linear term is equal to negative 2. And the numerical coefficient of our constant term is equal to negative 10. Then by using the formula to solve for the value of h, 
we will be using the formula H is equal to negative B all over 2A. Substituting the corresponding value, so we have negative, then the value of B is equal to negative 2 all over copy 2 times the value of A, which is equal to 1. We will simplify negative times negative 2 will be equal to positive 2, and then 2 times 1 will be equal to 2. Dividing these two numbers, 2 divided by 2 will be equal to 1. So H will be equal to 1. And then we will be using the formula of K. K is equal to 4AC minus B squared all over 4A. Then substituting the corresponding value. So we have copy 4 times the value of A which is equal to 1 times the value of C which is equal to negative 10 minus the value of b which is equal to negative 2 raised to the second power all over copy 4 times the value of a is equal to 1 then we will simplify 4 times 1 times negative 10 is negative 40 negative 2 to the second power is positive 4 copy the negative sign here all over 4 times 1 which is equal to 4 negative 40 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 44 divided by 4 is equal to negative 11. So we have arrived with the same answer. So we have vertex at point 1, negative 11. After that, we will now use the formula of the vertex form or the equation of a quadratic equation in vertex form y is equal to a times the quantity x minus h to the second power plus k. And all we need to do here is to substitute the value of h and k to get the equation. So substituting the value of h and k and the value of a is already given which is equal to 1 times the quantity x minus the value of h which is equal to 1 to the second power plus the value of k which is equal to negative 11. Then simplifying this, 1 times x times negative 1 is just the quantity x minus 1 to the second power, then positive times negative is equal to negative 11. So we have get equation in vertex form. y is equal to the quantity x minus 1 to the second power minus 11. Let's have our next example. Express y is equal to x squared plus 10x minus 1 in the form y is equal to a times the quantity x minus h to the second power plus k form or vertex form and give the values of h and k. So the first thing we need to do is to write this equation. After that, we will perform completing the square. So we have y equals Group the terms with the variable x, so we have the quantity x squared plus 10x, then we will leave a space or blank here, then followed by minus 1. And then we will divide the numerical coefficient of our linear term by 2, and we will square the answer. So meaning to say, we will divide 10 by 2. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5, and then square the answer, multiply the answer by itself, so 5 times 5 will be equal to 25. So we will put 25 here, and then kung ano man yung number na nilagay natin dito, ilalagay din natin dito sa equation natin. So pag naglagay tayo ng positive 25 dito, maglalagay tayo dito ng negative 25. Para once na inad natin tung dalawang to, negative 25 plus 25 will just be cancelled out or will just be equal to 0. So, copy mo lang yung negative 1, then followed by negative 25. And then, simplify natin. So, if a factor na natin tong quantity x squared plus 10x plus 25, kunin mo lang yung square root ng x squared, that is x. Kunin mo lang yung square root ng 25, that is equal to 5. Then, kunin mo lang yung sign ng ating linear term, which is positive. Kaya, ang factor is quantity x plus 5 raised to the second power. And then, add natin tong dalawang numbers na to. Negative 1 plus negative 25 is equal to negative 26. So, yung vertex form ng equation na y is equal to x squared plus 10x minus 1 is equal to y is equal to the quantity x plus 5 raised to the second power minus 26. So, para makuha mo yung value ng h, etong positive 5 na naandito, gagawin mo lang negative. So, h will be equal to negative 5. At yung value ng k, 
ay etong number na to. So, K will be equal to negative 26. At ang vertex ng quadratic equation or parabola is at point negative 5, negative 26. Another method is to use the formula. So, identify muna natin yung numerical coefficient ng quadratic term, x squared, ang kanyang numerical coefficient ay 1. Ang numerical coefficient ng 10x ay 10. At ang numerical coefficient ng ating constant term ay equal sa negative 1. After that, we will be using the formula h is equal to negative b all over 2a. Isa substitute na lang natin yung corresponding value. So we have minus, then yung value ng b is equal to 10. Copy mo yung 2, value ng a is equal to 1. Then negative times 10 is equal to negative 10. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Then negative 10 divided by 2 is equal to negative 5. And then for the value of k, use this formula for ac minus b squared all over 4a. Substitute the corresponding value. So 4 times the value of a is equal to 1 times the value of c is equal to negative 1 minus the value of b is equal to 10 raised to the second power all over copy 4 times the value of a again is equal to 1. Simplify. 4 times 1 is 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Copy yung negative. And then 10 times 10 is equal to 100. And then 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Negative 4 plus negative 100 is equal to negative 104 divided by 4. So k will be equal to negative 26. So we have arrived with the same values of h and k. So negative 5 and negative 26. And then to get the quadratic equation in vertex form, we will just use the formula. So y is equal to a times the quantity x minus h to the second power plus k. Substitute the corresponding value. So we have y is equal to the value of a is 1. Then copy x minus the quantity the value of h is equal to negative 5 to the second power plus the value of k is equal to negative 26. Simplifying this, so negative times negative is equal to positive 5, and then positive times negative is equal to negative 26. So the equation or the vertex form is y is equal to the quantity x plus 5 raised to the second power minus 26. Let's have our last example. Express y is equal to 3x squared plus 4x plus 2 in vertex form and give the values of h and k. Again, copy lang natin yung pinaka-equation natin. After that, group natin yung terms ng x. So we have y is equal to the quantity 3x squared plus 4x. Then maglib tayo ng blanco dito. Close parenthesis plus 2. After that, mapapansin nyo na ang numerical coefficient ng ating quadratic term ay greater than 1. So, pag greater than 1, kailangan nating i-factor yung ating equation. So, kailangan kasi para makapag-completing the square tayo, dapat ang numerical coefficient ng ating quadratic term ay 1. So, kailangan ilabas natin tong 3 natin, i-factor out natin. So, bali, ang equation ay magiging y is equal to 3 times the quantity x squared plus 4 over 3x plus 2. So this is the factor of 3x squared plus 4x. Kasi pag multiply natin to, 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times 4 over 3x is just equal to 4x. Pinactor lang natin. And then after natin makapag-factor, pwede na tayo mag-completing the square. Ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung numerical coefficient ng ating linear term. Ang numerical coefficient ng ating linear term ay 4 over 3. Di-divide natin sa 2, tapos yung sagot, i-square natin. 4 over 3 divided by 2 ay 2 thirds. And then yung 2 thirds, raised to the second power or 2 thirds times 2 thirds is equal to 4 over 9. So, nagdagdag tayo ng 4 over 9 dito. So, kung nagdagdag tayo ng 4 over 9 dito, ilalagay din natin yung 4 over 9 dito sa side na to. Kaya lang, meron tayong 3 dito sa labas. Kasi nga, ang numerical coefficient ng ating quadratic term ay hindi 1. So, kung 3 yung naan dito, 
magmumultiply din tayo sa dinagdag nating 4 over 9. So, kung positive yung 4 over 9, positive yung 3, so, negative yung imumultiply nating number. So, magmumultiply tayo ng negative 3. So, kung positive 3 to, multiply tayo ng negative 3 sa 4 over 9 na dinagdag natin. So, ito yung magiging equation. For that, simplify na natin. So, y will be equal to 3 times the quantity x squared plus 4 over 3x plus 4 over 9, kinapi lang natin, plus 2, and then negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Negative 12 over 9, lowest term, is negative 4 over 3. And then after that, simplify natin, so copy 3. Then ito, pwede na natin itong i-factor. So x squared, square root ng x squared will just be equal to x. Then, Kunin natin yung sign nung nasa gitna. Square root of 4 over 9 is equal to 2 third raised to the second power. And then 2 minus 4 over 3 is just equal to 2 thirds. Then, this will be the vertex form of the quadratic equation y is equal to 3x squared plus 4x plus 2. So we have y is equal to 3 times the quantity x plus 2 third raised to the second power plus 2 third. After that, uh, identify na natin yung value ng h and k. So, kung 2 thirds to positive, ang value ng h ay magiging negative 2 thirds. At kung ito ay 2 thirds, ang value ng k ay ganun din, 2 thirds. So, yung vertex ng ating quadratic equation is at point negative 2 thirds and 2 thirds. And then, proceed tayo sa next method. Pwede tayong gumamit ng formula. Identify natin yung value ng A, which is equal to 3, value ng B, which is equal to 4, and the value of C, which is equal to 2. Using the formula H is equal to negative B over 2A, we need to substitute the corresponding value. So, H will be equal to negative 4, all over copy 2 times the value of A, which is equal to 3. And then, Copy negative 4, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Negative 4 all over 6 is just equal to negative 2 thirds. And then for the value of k, we have 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. Substitute the corresponding value. So we have 4 times the quantity, the value of a is equal to 3, times the value of c which is equal to 2, minus the value of b which is equal to 4, raised to the second power all over, copy 4, then the value of A again is equal to 3. Simplify natin. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2, 24. Then, negative, 4 times 4, 16. 4 times 3, 12. 24 minus 16 is equal to 8, and then 8 over 12 is just equal to 2 thirds. So, we have arrived with the same answer h is negative 2 thirds and k is equal to 2 thirds. And to get the vertex form, substitute lang natin to sa formula natin. So y is equal to a times the quantity x minus a to the second power plus k. a will be equal to 3. Then, copy x minus, open parenthesis, the value of h is equal to negative 2 thirds. Then, bracket tied dito sa labas, 3 to the second power plus the value of k is equal to 2 thirds. Pag sinimplify natin, so negative times negative magiging positive na lang siya. So, ang ating vertex form is y is equal to 3 times the quantity x plus 2 thirds raised to the second power plus 2 thirds.